So, we're looking at running a t-test. There's lots of examples where we want to find if one group um, score more than the other group, or um, whether people improve over time. And the best way of doing that is to see if that difference is significant. And we do that by running a t-test. So, let's look at how we run a t-test. First, we get some data, and what we've got data here is um, some, well, it's made up data really, and we, we knew that Manchester City played Barcelona, and then they played Wigan, and tried a bit harder in one game than the other. We load it into Excel, um, and then we can run the t-test. So, we've opened SPSS, and now we look for the data. It's in Excel, so we open data. Exactly the same thing. There it is, there's all our files. <gasps> open up the file in the folder and then we have to do this bit of magic look for an Excel file yes I know simple stuff but follow it there it is data peers test retest data click open and it's coming it's coming read variable names very 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 important we click OK to that because we put those names in there in the Excel file bingo bang there it comes and what's coming here get the data there they are Barcelona players Wigan let's have a look at that let's view the data view the data there it is view the data players down one side Barcelona Wigan that's how far they let's that's how far they ran let's see if they ran further in the Barcelona game than the Wigan game with a paired samples t-test so the magic buttons in analyze here we go down, 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 down. Compare means, means, that's means, one sample, no. Independent, no, it's it's um, one team, two, two games. It's a paired samples t-test. Click the button, whoosh, opens up the, the hourglass spin. All the sand comes through. We put one variable is Barcelona. The other variable is Wigan. With only one more button to press, it's the OK button. Here we go. And look, the data, it comes, it's done, magically done. So, our eyes scan to the results. Oh, what results? Barcelona, 7.9. Wigan, 6.5. What does that mean? I don't know. It means they run further in the Barcelona game, young man. That's exactly what it means. Let's, let's be logical about this thing. And then we look down to our result. Barcelona v Wigan paired. Scroll, there's a difference. Scroll, there's a difference. We're used to looking for one figure in a T test. T of 2.49. Degrees of freedom 9. They're not the important thing. We've been taught to interpret a T, to a T test using one bit of magic formula. And that is whether the significance is lower than 0.05. Lower than 0.05. Lower than 0.05. So 0.034. Is it lower than 0.05? It is lower than 0.05. It's significant. It's a significant difference. So, in one game, they ran further than the other. They ran significantly further. Oh, that is absolutely superb. Done. So, let's recap. Step one. Compare means. It's a paired samples t-test. There's the data. Load it up and hit the button. Step two. Load your variables, variable 1 being one variable you want to compare, variable 2 being the other variable you want to compare. Click OK. Out come the results. We are looking for the T results and the, the number you are all keyed into interpreting whether the p-value is lower than 0 0.05. If it's lower than 0 0.05, the test is significant. So, what do you do? Get an idea? get some data, load it into Excel or straight into SPSS, run the test and enjoy. There is hope. That is absolutely enjoyable. It's fun. It's fun. One way to, one way to enjoy it. And there is that one way. Thank you very much.